What's up guys? Today we are out in Prince Frederick's on the exhaust. We be scared now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions. Must have heard around. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. I so windy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them get in line. Hold it down. Hold it down. Came up from the underground. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Sounds good. How Dealing with some massive stormwater uh, management issues here kind of go through some of the things that we're able to do over here we have a massive pit that's basically washed out creating a danger to everybody deep enough like the washouts almost a six feet now it's crazy just from improper drainage so what we're doing is along the foundation wall <clears throat> big foundation retaining wall we're gonna put in some surge stone swales to kind of allow the water to dissipate run down we're gonna cut swales in so it can flow correctly into our surge stone pits that won't cause these sinkholes and fix any erosion issues that we have. side we have another failing retaining wall that needs to be replaced we're swapping out the old railroad ties with some new allen block which is what we prefer to use for structural retaining wall because of drainage purposes and we can kind of walk through my plan of cutting two swales along that foundation side to get all of the water off the foundation and then run down into a surge stone pit this is kind of a bigger scale operation from what we normally do on residential stormwater management, but the same tactics to diverting water away from your foundation is something we can do on a smaller level with less rock, smaller rock, less swales, smaller swales, etc. So just keep in mind, this is stuff we can do residentially and kind of make more aesthetically pleasing, dry riverbeds using river jack, things like that. Uh, but yeah, we'll kind of go through everything and show you the damage we're working with and how we're going to fix it. As you've seen in the past, we love doing these structural retaining walls, especially on the hills. Places like Calvert County, there's a lot of hills, um, but we want to keep drainage in mind. So you can see right here, this is an old wall that can be installed by themselves. Wood, not what we like to use. We like to use that beautiful Allen block because it allows for drainage with the way we backfill it with CR6, Geotech Fabrics, put drainage systems in there. It looks really, really pretty. And as you've seen before, we've done a bunch of those and it's probably the best thing that I've seen for drainage. This is something you can do in your backyard if you have a hill and you want to create a fat, flat area, a nice flat area. Put one of those beautiful walls in. We can flatten everything out for you. We got great drainage and it looks nice. Mm -hmm. 